Hello, and welcome back to Blue Collar Watches. This video is simply going to be titled, Tandoria Watches, Are They Any Good? For those of you that are not familiar with this brand, these are an AliExpress band, brand. Uh, I said band because this is not the band that this watch came on. This came on a leather band, and I replaced this, replaced this band. This is the first Tandorio I bought. The reason I bought this watch is I was looking for a PT5000 watch and I was looking for the least expensive PT5000 watch that I could find. And it had to be a Tandorio. I believe I paid like $92 for this watch. Uh, I did upgrade the band. It came on a leather band and I really do prefer steel. I like, I like stainless bands. But anyway, I'm highly impressed with the PT5000 movement. I'm highly impressed with this band this brand. This is my, this is a Seiko Moss homage. This is also a PT5000 watch. I want to say I paid 104 for this. It might have been a little more. I can't remember. This is the most expensive Tandorio I bought. This is the watch that I did a head-to-head -head comparison against my Seiko SRPD, which is what this homage is. Um, great watch. I'm very impressed with this watch. Uh, the really only big difference between this and the Seiko was this does not have drilled lugs. But on the positive side, all of these have sapphire crystals. I think I paid $62 for this watch. And when you compare apples to apples when it comes to the bands on these watches, they're just as good a quality as what you get on the Seikos. All these three on the right all have NH35s in them. I picked this one up because I wanted a, uh, a Mother Pearl dial watch. And again, this homage is the Seiko SRPD. And it's 35. And they're 316 all stainless steel. This is, again, you can, usually when you look at these and you select these, you can, choose, you can vary the band. I picked this one up. I think I paid like 70 for this. This is a rather small watch, but I wanted a bronze watch. I didn't own a bronze watch at the time. And this was the least expensive one I could find. And again, this is not the band that this one came on. This is the band that came with this one. And I can't really put a steel band on this watch because it won't, it's not gonna match. <laughs> so I elected to put this, this rubber band on there. And this is actually quite comfortable, but I really do prefer stainless bands. Again, NH35, Sapphire Crystal. And if you watched my comparison video of comparing the Tandorio to the Seiko, they're pretty equal. With the Seiko, you're paying for the name. You can get these, you can literally buy three of these for the price of one Seiko SRPD. Seiko SRPD probably going for about $200, $225. I bought this on sale. I think that was the summer sale. I can't, might've been the spring sale. I think that was the cheapest one I got. I think that was $62. I probably paid like 70 for this. Uh, probably paid like 70 for this. I know I paid over a hundred for this and this was 90 something, but you can see the big difference in the, in the second hand, the more sweeping of the PT 5,000. And I'm extremely impressed with that movement. I'm extremely impressed with this brand. Um, some of them have decent loom. I think it's all comes down to when they go through the production line, to be quite honest with you. This watch has good loom on the dial. The hands are poor. This one, the loom, I think the loom pretty much sucks on this one. They're not, they, when they just say luminescent, luminous hands and dial, then it's pretty poor loom. But this brand, I'm impressed with it. You get a lot of bang for your buck. Like I said, 316L stainless steel. Uh, most of them come with a decent band, sapphire crystal. They have at least an NH35 in them. There's no Miotas in these, they're all Seikos. And I also did a video on this one where I cracked this open. These are legit NH35s in these watches. Uh, 
I can't speak for, I haven't cracked open every one. This one came from uh, Time Management Industries, which is probably what all these are, which is a built under license NH35. But Tandorios, my opinion, awesome bargain. Highly recommend them. Obviously, I own five of them. I like the brand. I've kind of, I mean, I could, there's a whole bunch of them I could buy. They make a nice Seiko Monster one, too. But I want a legit, real Seiko Monster. And I think I'm going to save my money and buy a real one instead of a homage. But this watch is excellent. The PT5000. Highly impressed with that movement. Highly impressed with this brand. You know, for $70, $75, you can get a darn nice watch. And if you put one of these in your cart and let it sit there and wait till it goes on sale, you just check your cart from time to time, you can get a really good deal on these watches. I highly recommend Tandorios. Uh, they should they should send me some watches for doing this this video, this review. But again, Tandorio watches. Oh, I did get some hater comments on some of these. You know, that's a cheap watch. They're pretty equivalent to what they're homaging. The quality. And I only own one Seiko with Sapphire. All five of these have a Sapphire crystal. Pretty good watches. Again, I recommend them. If you're looking to get Seikos, but you're thinking, man, because you said, I have the blue dial one of this, and I really wanted the orange dial one, and I had it in my cart on Amazon, and I'm thinking, do I really want to spend $250 for the same watch? It's just a different color dial, and I ended up going with this. And like I said, literally, you can buy three of these. You can buy three different dial colors, and you can also choose different bezels on these when you order them. Okay, Tandoria watches, like them, highly recommend them, that's it.